Welcome to TOWIE, the official after party. I'm Bobby Norris and I'm here to bring you a cheeky little insight into what it's like really being on TOWIE as I speak to the stars about what's happening both on and off camera. Joining me today we have the Sun journalist and superfan Amanda Devlin. Yay! Oi, 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 babes. <laughs> and he's back for more. He loves it. It's Benji Potter. Hi, Bob. How can I stay away from you? You love me, Benj, <laughs> don't you? And to complete my panel tonight, she's the brunette bombshell. She's Brentwood's very own Kim K. We've got yes. Thank you so much for having me. You're very welcome, babes. I'm coming straight into you, babes. Oh God. Do you regret leaving Dubai, bro? I love Dubai, mm. but my heart is in Essex, and I think, obviously, you're here, so obviously. I missed you. <laughs> I did the dates, like lunch dates, um, and I miss my family as well. So as much as I will go back and forth, because I, I do want to open a business there, mm. I will kind of spend the majority of my time in Essex. What did you miss the most while you was over there? Definitely my family. I didn't really have like my anyone out there other than my friends that I'd kind of made at the time. So I felt like I was doing uni all over again. You know, like when you leave home and mm. you're trying to make friends again. It was kind of a bit mad, but yeah, I think family's definitely a big one for me. You know what I'm like, I'm very much old school, like my home and my tea and my biscuits. And... <laughs> I always forget that you done uni. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> <laughs> do they have digestives out in Dubai? I mean, they're very expensive. It's a very expensive digestive. <laughs> There's a premium. Well, obviously a lot's gone on whilst you've been away and your returns definitely made someone look like they saw a ghost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You and Lockie was once seen as love's young dream. He was like the Romeo and Juliet of Essex, but mm -hmm. does true love really ever die? Or has that ship sailed? What's the deal with James? He's told me that he's seen someone. He said it's very early days, they're taking it slow. Oh, God. And how do you feel? I feel nothing. And then how was he when he was telling you? It was a bit awkward. So you're back then? I'm back. Yeah, good, good, good. I don't think he's ever been over... I don't think they've ever been over each other, though. <laughs> If he was really like... <laughs> it's a Halloween kind of love, you know, used to. It's a dead kind of love. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not ready to resurrect it just yet. Oh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> yeah, so how did you feel, babe, when Lockie turned around and said that he was seeing someone? Mm -hmm. Did that hurt? Do you know what? It's so weird and I think everyone thinks I'm putting on this front or I'm lying and hiding it and one day I'm just going to come out and be like, oh my God, I genuinely don't feel anything. I actually feel happy for him. If he's found happiness truly and he's met someone that he wants to be with, then, you know, good for him. I just don't feel anything. I don't feel anger. I don't feel animosity. I don't feel, just feel nothing towards him. So Amanda, all yeah. the girls think that Lockie's still in love with yours, do you? Absolutely. I mean, yeah. It's obvious. I think it's obvious for anyone to see, and why wouldn't you? Because look at her, she's Aww. incredible. Aww. But I don't know, I just think when I, I have interviewed you both together before, and there's just this electricity, the chemistry between you, it's just, it, there's sparks. I mean, that is, it really is there. Um, so, I mean, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm convinced that he's still madly in love. And you two always did have a chemistry. Like, I've been there throughout your whole relationship, yeah. and when things were good, they was very good. Obviously, when things were, were bad, bad, not so very much. Bad. But do you think you could ever rekindle things? For me, I'm like, no, definitely not. It was kind of like, it was a very mad love. When, mm. you know, it was passionate. Intense. It was very intense. When we rowed, we rowed, but when mm. we loved, we loved hard. So I think it's always going to be one of those where, you know, it's, it's sad that it has come to an end. Um, I thought we was on the path that we could be friendly. I don't know now because he's in a relationship, which is absolutely fine and I respect that. But, you know, if we can be in the same room together and kind of just be civil, I'm, I'm so happy with that. The world and his two-hour yeah. knows that us Essex lot, we love a cheeky little party and even more so when it's fancy dress. So I went to Halloween to catch up with some of the cast to see what is going down this Halloween in Essex. We have got this spooky location the cast have gone all out with their costumes and we are going to have a night to remember. Will it be a trick or will it be a treat? I think we're going to see Chloe Brockett and Frankie. 
come head to head. I'm not gonna go in there with any aggression or anger because you know what, I actually don't wanna argue with her. I feel like I always joke around and, but I just actually wanna know what like the root cause of the problem is. I thought me and her were fine, but she has continued to sort of take the piss out of me a little bit on camera and like provoke me. Things have been said and I think things need to be addressed once and for all. Moving forward, it would be nice if we could be in the same room as each other. So hopefully by the end of the chat, we'll both feel the same. <laughs> Yaz, you was a no-show at Halloween. Where was you? Bear in mind, I know you very well and I know the truth, so <laughs> don't tell me no lies. My outfit didn't fit. No, that ain't the truth. <laughs> this, is, this is me after party, so you're going to tell the truth. Right, so I went on a date. Yep. <laughs> OK, I went on a date and didn't look at the time. I had a few too many glasses of Prosecco. Mm -hmm. And by that time, I called into work and I said I had salmonella poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Which they knew was a lie. Bet <laughs> she'd been on stories <laughs> with her shots, having a lovely old time Love with it. her day. And then she does the call at seven in the morning. Oh, I've had a bad egg. Yeah. I've got the salmonella. The pool temperature was a little bit off. I can't make it into work today, but Yaz, we have Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hacked. <laughs> um, so then I come clean and I said, look, sorry, I went on a date last night, stayed out a bit later than what I should. I'm getting older now. The hangover's just, I can't deal with it. <laughs> can't deal with it. And I thought, Halloween, hangover, drama, not today. So, obviously, going to ask you, how was the date? Date was lovely. Is a salt. Yeah, very good looking guy, very nice guy. But for me at the minute where I'm in life, I'm not kind of ready to, to move on or be with anyone at the minute. No second date happening? Not for now. Not for now. Babes, like, Halloween to us in Essex is a really huge deal. Yeah. Why do you think that is? I think it's because, I don't know, I suppose everyone can just wear minimal clothing and not be judged for that one night of the year. <laughs> I mean, not that it's much different to every other weekend when we go out. <laughs> Quite looks the same. They've just got some contacts in. <laughs> yeah, true, yeah. <laughs> Benjamin Amanda, who do you think in Towie history has always nailed fancy dress? Well, I think the accidental Halloween star has to be the GC, right? She yeah. wore that uh, American footballer-style dress to the ITV summer party. And that Halloween, it was a gift because <laughs> everyone was going as her. And the most iconic one was Alan Carr at Jonathan Ross's party. Yeah, yeah, I mean, absolutely. brilliant. It went viral. <laughs> it went viral. I'm obsessed with the GC. I mean, that, I don't think she is the only person that you can really think that she, you, it stands out in your memory. You can't erase that kind of image from your mind <laughs> <laughs> at all. But um, I just think the whole cast, they just put so much effort into mm. it and um, they really, it's just a special time, isn't it, Halloween? It's nice to make an effort yeah. and, um, yeah, enjoy yourself. It is a big deal. I don't know if it's the same, like, everywhere in the country, but I don't know. Mm. I think it's, a, it's our, like, our pre-Christmas. Yeah. You know yeah. What I mean? That's why I couldn't go. I couldn't go half-hearted. I had to either go full out or not at all. Oh, it's go hard or go home, even yeah. with the salmonella. Yeah. So, <laughs> as we saw tonight, <laughs> Halloween definitely resurrected some old drama. You're doing impressions of me, yeah. like to Amber, you're both sitting there laughing. Okay, well, you, you're scooping low, you're scraping the barrel. Okay. Because if you had anything about you, yeah. you would have said it to my face. Are you the cause of what's happening right now, Yeah. Beyond? Have you ever had a boyfriend? Not being rude. No, but has your sister been with Have Pete? You ever had a has your sister been boyfriend and girlfriend with What's Pete? What's your sister got to do? Well, with no, it? what I'm saying is, it's a fact. Has your sister been boyfriend and girlfriend Hold with on, Pete? Pete? What's no. Pete and Chloe so got is to that do you're saying it? that relationship's not valid? What? Is that what Pete you're saying? Blow me, <clears throat> Benj. Do you reckon the two girls can ever be friends? Well, first of all, Bob's, that was quite an upsetting scene to watch, you know, because it was tender and it was sensitive. Mm. Mm. And there was a split second right at the beginning mm. where you almost thought Chloe had swallowed her pride and was willing to kind of lay down the gauntlet, gauntlet and say, I messed up. And then straight away, she was on the defensive. Yeah. She was bringing in all this other, in my opinion, unnecessary stuff. And then it was just a mudslinging match. So... I don't think they'll ever be friends again. There was a glimmer of hope, but as it's Halloween, it will turn to darkness. Yeah. Yes, do you think you and Brockett will ever be mates again? I don't think we'll ever be mates. I don't think we'll ever be enemies. I think we'll just be civil. And that's how I kind of like it. Do you class yourself as civil now, you two? Yeah, like, if I see her, I'll say hi, and then when I'm back going to Dubai, I'll say see you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Alltså, <laughs> alltså, skulle, skulle well, I'm glad to hear it, babe. <laughs> be back again next week. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. Although things do need to be mended between you and Amber. Amber? Oh, just how calm I'm being. Calm? Fake? I don't know what it is. <laughs> do you and Amber could be mates again? Too much happened. I think too much has happened now, yeah. I think I'm just taking the mature high ground with it. You know, when just you're with your suit, when yeah. you're with your family and your friends and something bothers you, you do slag someone off. But is there a need for me to have murders with him or just dead it in the water and be mature about it? It wouldn't surprise me if it don't kick off at the party, to be honest. So, babe, I've got to ask, why make up with Chloe but not Amber? It's not that I made up with Chloe. I kind of addressed the issue that was the elephant in the room that everyone was talking about and waiting for me to kind of kick off about. So I wanted to show that I'm not bothered. It is what it is. It happened. I'm not with him. You're not my friend. That's that. That's that. I didn't kind of rekindle the friendship or anything like that. Amber was there at the same time. She didn't really talk to me. Um, and I just feel like we haven't spoken in so long that there was kind of no need to address it. Mm. What, what's the point? We haven't been friends in so long. I don't see that friendship ever being rekindled. So I kind of just kept it moving. So when people think you flew back from Dubai, to have it out with her, yeah. it, that's, that's not the case. Oh, my God. I thought, do you think I'm going to spend that much money on a business class flight to come and confront Chloe? Oh! oh she likes to turn left. <laughs> I mean, we all do, especially if someone's paying for it. I do like <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'm not getting a PCR just to come back home. Hey. That's not happening. So you think at any point in the future, you and Amber can ever be friends again? I think we can be friendly. <laughs> Amanda, does it seem to you like Yaz has turned a bit of a new leaf here? Absolutely. She's just a completely different person, yeah. really. You know, you've changed so much, and I think everything's for the better. And, yeah, I'm really proud of you. It's just oh, lovely to, to see how much you can, you know, improve yourself and to take time away. And it's also nice to be able to step back and say, mm. that wasn't for me, but yeah. it was a part of my past. And to be able to look and have this fresh start and you're doing all the right things, it's a, a great breakup story, I think. Oh, thank you so much. Absolutely. It's growth, and we all love a bit of growth. Yeah. <laughs> don't we? Yeah. Wash your, your mind out. <laughs> I can see her eyes. She's troubled. On that note, that's all we've got time for today. Up. She's trouble, the girl. I want to say a massive thank you to both Amanda and Benji for being here. Oh, thanks, and boss. to Yaz for leaving the party oh, early to come back to join me here at thank Tower, the official after party. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.